So there were two things that I, I wanted to, to just kind of speak to. That I, one that, that I saw in the film, and one from what you were just saying. Um, in the film, it talked about this idea that we kind of like dropped the ball, like the community felt like we'd won, right? Civil rights had been won, and then you know everybody kind of fell off, right? And I think that that cyclically happened, right? That happened after the Civil War, right? During Reconstruction, you had a lot of um, black people who were, you know, in office and 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 had been elected to um, government positions and who were building businesses. And then the the response to that during post Reconstruction was the reality of the share cropping and Jim Crow, and you know, and then people saw that happening and then began to organize and respond, you know, and you know, and then you have this cycle, you have the civil rights movement, and then people felt, I mean, I, I actually personally heard Bobby Seale when I was 18. Bobby Seale was one of the founders of the Black Panther Party, for anyone who doesn't know. He personally told me and my classmates um, when he came and visited my um, undergrad class at Temple University that they had already, it's been done. Civil rights had been won and there was no more work to be done and we needed to stop, you know, complaining that we were wrong. You know, this is, you know, and it was hard for me because this was someone who was a hero who was saying this. I'm sure now he realizes that that that, that wasn't the case, but there's this, this need to kind of like say we're going to stop and breathe and the unfortunate reality is that we have, we have to really understand that we are so far from coming to a place where we can we can breathe like that. You know, we have to we have to secure and then we have to reinforce and then we have to reinforce and we have to reinforce generationally and we have to communicate to the next generation that that has to happen or this 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 cycle is going to continue. And so I just I think that it's not a one-time thing. Like we've seen it's happening repeatedly and, and we need to be more diligent and learn from it so that when we win again this time that we ensure that that's a permanent win um, and we do the work consistently to ensure that it's a permanent win. Um, but the other thing that I, I wanted to, that I was thinking when you were talking about these, these really heinous puppeteers is I, I think that there's this, it, it's also a reflection of us. You know, we've moved into a very consumer-driven, what can I get, how big can my house be, how many cars can I have kind of society. And it's really kind of in all of us on some level, right, that we have to get something more. And we are, we have to get our credit expanded. We've got to, there, there's just so much consumption. And, and there's, not a, there's not an amount that's enough. Like that's what, too much is never enough. I remember seeing that up on, on a billboard here in New York some years ago, too much is not enough. And so when that's our mentality, when at every level, we've got to expect it to be the mentality at the top level too. I think that they are still showing us the work that we have to do. We've got to do that work internally, we've got to do the work in our communities. And we want our leaders to be reflecting the, what we want in the world, we have to do the work in reflecting that and our local levels as well. And so I just, you know, that's, you know, when you, I, it's, I, that, we constantly have this 99%, 1% kind of idea, but we're one humanity. We are the 100%. Everything that we're experiencing, we're it's a reflection of each of our individual selves. There's some piece of everything that's out there inside of all of us. And so we have to take ownership and responsibility. I think that's so important for us to take the responsibility individually for what we're seeing in the world and the responsibility in each of ourselves individually for the transformation of what the world looks like. Well, that was in color three. Thank you. Yeah.